Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is Easter sunrise morning and we are in a strange place. Oddly enough, uh, the sun is kind of coming up, but there's still some clouds going on and uh, I hope that you can hear me okay. I know that it seems weird to be out here in a moment like this, but I know that in 1732, the first recorded sunrise service. A, a small group of Moravian men decided that on Easter morning they would wake up early, they would go to the cemetery, and they would celebrate the risen Christ from this place. I want to I want to remind you this morning some words from Isaiah. Oftentimes, Isaiah chapter 9, we read at the birth of Jesus, but I want you to hear these words differently, this foretelling of who Jesus was. Isaiah chapter 9 verse 2 says, The people who walk in darkness will see a great light. For those who live in a land of deep darkness, a light will shine. This, this is that deep darkness. The darkness of death, the darkness of despair, that is exactly what Jesus came and died for. This place where we stand and celebrate the dead is not the place where we have a final resting place as long as we are believers in Christ. And the believers were many. Those who saw the risen Jesus, there were there were more of them. Uh, Paul even comments uh, that there were 500 uh, in, in one place all risen Christ. We know that Jesus appears to Mary this morning just outside the tomb. She appears, or he appears to her just outside the tomb. And I want you, uh, this is 1 Corinthians 15, and I want you to listen. Let me now remind you, dear brothers and sisters, of the good news I preached to you before. You welcomed it then, and you, and you will stand firm in it. It is this good news that saves you if you continue to believe the message I told you, unless, of course, you believe something that was never true in the first place. I passed on to you what was most important, and what had also been passed on to me. Christ died for our sins, just as the scripture said he was buried and was raised from the dead on the third day sorry the wind can't 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 do that can't change that he was buried and he was raised from the dead on the third day just as the scripture said he was seen by peter and then by the 12 after that he was seen by more than 500 of his followers at one time most of whom are still alive though some have died and then he was seen by James, and later by all the apostles. Last of all, as though I had been born at the wrong time, I also saw him. For I am the least of all the apostles. In fact, I'm not even worthy to be called an apostle after the way I persecuted the church. This is Paul's recollection of this risen Christ. Death has died today. Today is Resurrection Sunday. Today is Easter Sunday. The stone is rolled away. We are given this new life, and it's going to be up to us to figure out what it is that we want to do with it. Speaking of Peter, who was there on that first day, I want to give you just a little bit, and I know this is just a short video, but I want to give you just a little bit of what Peter wrote in his first, his first writing. In 1 Peter <clears throat> chapter 1, verses 3, start at verse 3. All praise to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. It is by his great mercy that we have been born again, because God raised Jesus Christ from the dead. Now we live with great expectation, and we have a priceless inheritance, an inheritance that is kept in heaven for you, pure and undefiled beyond the reach of change and decay. And through your faith, God is protecting you by his power until you receive this salvation, which is ready to be revealed on the last day for all to see. So be truly glad. There is wonderful joy ahead. Even though you must endure many trials for a little while, these trials will show you that your faith is genuine. It is being tested as fire tests and purifies gold. And though your faith is far more precious than mere gold, 
So when your faith remains strong through many trials, it will bring you much praise and glory and honor on the day when Jesus Christ is revealed to the whole world. Friends, I hope that this bright Easter morning has found you filled with a, a new sense of hope that there is more to what's happening right now. Uh, the world can be a, a pretty horrible place to look at right now. We are confined to spaces. We are not allowed to be within six feet of each other. And so for me, the hardest part is not being able to, to see you, to, to shake your hands or to give you a hug. These are the things that make it difficult. But rest assured, just as Peter said, he looked into that tomb and he reflects on those words, you'll suffer trials, but it's only to make your faith genuine. How genuine is your faith this morning? Do you have that hope? Are you ready to celebrate the risen Christ today? Join us today. Uh, Maplewood, your services will be live at nine, uh, both on Facebook and YouTube and Draft. Uh, you will be live at 10.30 on, on both uh, Facebook and YouTube. Have a great and happy Easter, everybody. See ya.